What's up guys? I'm Abby. And I'm Erin. Today is day six of Advent and we have been having such a great time. Today we are going to learn about a guy named Jacob whose name meant trickster. I can already tell this is going to be so good. Yeah, not exactly. It was a good name for him because he did a lot of tricking and lying. Uh, that does not sound good at all. <laughs> Correct. The weird thing is God chose Jacob. Huh? Exactly. One of Jacob's great, great, great grandchildren would be the child who would bring God back to all the people on earth. Jesus? Yes. That's how God is sometimes. He doesn't always choose the people we think he should. You've got that right. One day, Jacob fell in love with Rachel. In fact, he loved her so much, he told her dad he would work for him for seven years if he could marry her. Whoa, he must have really, really loved her. Yep, but when it came to the wedding day, the trickster had a trick played on him. Rachel's dad had him marry Rachel's older sister, Leah, instead. Oh my, and Jacob didn't know until it was too late. He was so, so mad. <laughs> God wanted to pick Leah, but Jacob didn't care. He still wanted Rachel, which made Leah feel sad and alone. But she wasn't alone. Through Leah, God would send him the son that would save the whole world. Say it with me, Jesus! What made Leah the happiest was knowing that one of her great, great, great grandchildren would be the one that would bring God back. Yeah, for now. Leah knew even with her children, God seemed far away. So Leah began to hope and pray. Wow, what a story. I can't wait to see what we're going to learn tomorrow. Make sure you don't miss it. Hit subscribe and we'll see you later.